Hello, everyone. My name is Julie, and I'm one of Christian Assembly's Kingdom Partners. Um, it is a privilege to be able to send today's daily touch point to you. Our reading comes from Second Chronicles chapter 12. I encourage you to read it. It's a hard word. It's a word that looks at the life of Rehoboam, who is the king, and how he had become strong. And um, in his own strength, he forgot the ways of God, and he didn't seek to really follow after God. And and throughout the chapter, it kind of goes back and forth of them be of Israel being um, captured by Egypt, and then it talks about Rehoboam going, wanting God's forgiveness, and then going back, and just this whole back and forth of um, of how we as humans at times can forget um, when when we depend upon our own strength, our own comfort, our own health, our own finances, we can forget that we need God um, when we think that we have enough within ourselves. And this is a story of in the midst of, of, of forgetting like the consequences that, that went along with that for Israel. Um, and it's also a story uh, reminding us that even when we are unfaithful, yes, there are consequences, but it doesn't change the character of God. It doesn't change that he is faithful and that he is merciful. And um, while it can, um, it can, there's, I mean, there's consequences, there's things that are lost because of disobedience or because we are not in right relationship with God. Um, and it hurts us. It hurts the people around us. It leaves gaps. Um, but, or maybe, and God, um, God is still faithful. He is still merciful. He is able to um, forgive. And I was actually listening, um, listening to a speaker this weekend who was talking about when you're going through your days and maybe you're asking God to forgive you. When you do that, um, which we need to, we need to be quick to say when we're wrong, we need to be quick to speak that um, and ask for forgiveness. But there's the other piece of receiving the forgiveness of God, receiving the mercy of God, believing that it can be for us. And that, I mean, it requires humility. It requires that we can't, um, we cannot be walking in pride. We cannot be um, blinded to uh, the areas where where we're, we're not making good choices, where we're not following God. But as we ask for forgiveness, there's the piece of, are we willing to receive it, to receive the love, to receive the mercy, to receive um, the forgiveness that God wants to extend to us. And in that, how it can help us as we continue to follow God, to begin um, to make choices, to make decisions that can honor him and not just the things we do, but also the relationship that we're building with God, that we're allowing him to be merciful. We're allowing him to be um, faithful, even if we are not always faithful. Um, and in that, in that sense of humility, then allowing God to continue to work in us, to grow us, to, um, to be, to allow him to make us more um, into who he desires for us to be. It doesn't make him love us more. It doesn't make him um, more faithful. It just allows us to, uh, it just allows us to receive um, what is already being extended to us. So may we, may we receive this word today. May we um, allow God to, love us and to guide us. And um, in those times where we're tempted to 
depend upon our own strength. May we, may God remind us of just how dependent we are upon him and how much we need him. So be encouraged, friends.